up, YouTube? It's Aaron. It's Enrico. And today we have another collective haul for you guys. But we're trying a new style where we're both in the video. So let us know in the comments below if we should just continue this or, you know, if you just do it previously. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so for the first piece, I have this Topman oversized boxy t-shirt. This is a size medium and it fits me true to size. I do recommend you guys sizing up just because it's 100% cotton. So if you guys end up drying your clothes, this will shrink a little bit. Now what this features is the drop shoulders and a really wide neck. This is perfect for the spring and summer look. It's also a great essential for the spring and summer look because you could wear this multiple times. You know, you can layer with it. This is only $16 for a shirt. <clears throat> I also have a white one as well. And they're both really good. So I really recommend you guys getting one for this year's spring summer look. Alright, and so for the next piece, I actually have this H&M striped t-shirt. And as you can see, this is just a, a basic navy and white striped t-shirt. And uh, to me, usually H&M t-shirts run a little bit too small, like too slim on the body. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I got a size medium, just because like, you know, the weather's warming up, you want a little bit more like... Like, like a loose fit, right? Yeah, like like breezy. You can even, you can even size this up to a <clears throat> size large, if you guys want. If you want that more boxier fit. But to me, I don't really like kind of how that looks, so I just got a medium for now. And as you can see, this was like around $10. So you know, you gotta go to like, you know, your H&M's, you know, like your alternative fashion shops, you know, just to get, you know, basic essentials like this. Alright, so next up I have this big men's size shirt. This is called the Shocker Tee. This is a size extra large, and I got this off Big Mensa's web store. So, I mean, it's like $30 retail, but it's sold out right now, so you can probably find it on Grail. I'll try to leave a link in the description for you guys. And why I went with the next size is because I really wanted that drop shoulder, and the sleeves are really long. So it kind of looks like that Fair of God oversized tee. But the only thing different is that I cropped this myself. It was actually really long on the length. So I cropped it, now it's really cropped, so I like to layer with that Topman black t-shirt that I showed you guys earlier. And the thing I really like about this t-shirt, you know, it kind of has like that like vintage like rock tour like sort of like graphic on the front. Exactly. But like on the back there's it's like this like kind of random little circle, I don't know. I don't know, know what the heck this means, but uh, it's a cool detail I guess for the back t-shirt. Vic, if you're watching, you know, let us know what this is, because it's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, shout out to Vic Mensa, I love his music. So, you know, you gotta sport big nuts. Up. All right, for my piece, I have this vintage guest stripe t shirt. All right, so this shirt is size small and it's like kind of like a boxy fit. And um, the thing I really like about this shirt is that. You know, you don't really see a lot of white and olive stripes, you know? And also, this is like a really, like, great alternative. For the, what, the guest ASAP tee? Yeah, that. Exactly. Because, you know, like, I mean, yeah, you have dollar signs, but I mean, you know, you can get that anywhere, you know? You can't find a vintage, you know, guest tee. Exactly. I don't even know what year this is from, bro. I got this actually off of Etsy, but you can actually, you know, go to eBay, go to Grail, you know? I actually got this for a really good deal. I got this for twenty dollars. You know, these are usually a little bit more pricey, probably around the eighty to one hundred dollar range. Yeah, but you just got to do research, right? Yeah, but they're pretty worth it because you know you get this, get this like mock neck, and also like if, when you feel the shirt, it's like really soft and it's really good because you can also layer, and it's also really breezy too for it. So you can wear, what, we wear this. You can dress it up, dress it down. Yeah, this is a really versatile piece. Yep. So another striped tee for you guys. But this one's got more of that vintage vibe, whereas the other H&M one was just more, you know, casual, more modern. Yeah. So if you guys want that vintage look, really recommend you guys researching these striped vintage guest shirts. You can find them anywhere, like Enrico said, eBay or Grail. Yeah, so let me put it on and show you guys how it looks. All 
All right, so next up I have this Represent Flannel Henley. This is a size small, fits me true to size, and uh, I got this off the Represent um, sale, so it was really cheap. But what I like about this is that it's got that nice flannel outer shell, and on the inside it's actually really soft, so you can wear this during the fall and winter. I don't recommend this wearing during the spring and summer, because it actually does keep you pretty warm. But since they had the sale, I had to cop. And it's got the buttons on the sides on the sleeves right here. It's got the drop shoulders. And you have, what are these, the um, split hem. So it's like short on the top and then longer on the back. Overall, really nice piece. And you have their, you know, signature represent badge on the back right here. And what I really like about this piece is how like, represents kind of branch, you know, and trying like new things. And also like, yeah, the price might be a little bit high, but the quality does make up for it. Exactly. Yeah. And like, I mean, I wouldn't really pay retail for this. I was just, I looked at it and I saw, oh, it's really nice. But then once they had the sale, you know, I just immediately called yeah. and I mean, a lot of people love represent, so I can easily sell this to someone and you know, it's no problem. I'll get my money back. And I didn't point this out, but their buttons right here, you got that four button collar. You can, you know, button it or unbutton it. Either way, it looks really nice. And yeah. And for the last of the tops, I actually have this Alexander Wang X H and M long sleeve. All right, so as you see, I got this in a size small. And uh, I really like the fit on this because, you know, the sleeves, you know, usually on a long sleeve, they have like kind of like that tapered cuff. But this one, you know, it kind of just like drapes over, but it's, to, it's actually at the perfect length where it stops at your wrist. And um, I think Aaron has something to say about it, right? Yeah, like this material right here is actually the neoprene material, but usually neoprene material, you're thinking something like really thick and padding. But this one, it's just like the outer shell of the neoprene. It's really thin and it's perfect spring piece, right? Yeah, because like you can wear this in the day, you know, in the night, because you know, it's really breezy. And, you know, it's also good for layering. You know, you can wear, you know, you could obviously like just throw a flannel over this and bam, you know, you got to fit right perfect, there. Perfect, man. It's all about the wang though. Yeah, that wing right there. See this? It's that wang. And like what I like about it, it's so simple, but yeah. it just speaks for itself. You know, you see the wang, you know it's Alexander Wang. And what you got right here? You maybe got the raglan stitching. You know, details, man. It's all into the details. It's a simple piece, but it says a lot. And you don't have to be really loud about it. You can just wear this subtle shirt and what? You can just wear it with jeans, yeah, yeah. crop denim, whatever you shorts, want to wear it with. You know. Shorts, it's perfect, man. The only problem with this is that these are pretty hard to come by. <laughs> and when you do find it, you're going to find it for twice as retail. I'm not going to lie, this was 50 bucks, but I got it from the for the steal from my friend Kyle. So yeah, shout, shout out to, to Kyle. You. Yeah. Alright guys, so for the pants, I have these Old Navy Harper trousers. So these are a size 6 in women's. <laughs> um, I mean, the reason why I actually caught these are because they look exactly like the Chapter Baron pants or any other Chapter pants and they're really versatile. There's, they look really dressy, but you can also dress it down and give it that nice high fashion street look. You can wear these with runners or you can wear them with like Stan Smith either way. They look really nice. So they're really versatile. All right, for the next pair of pants, I actually have this pair of Zara Stone Moss Denim. So I got this in a size 30. And as you can see, um, I got this in their skinny fit. And uh, usually their skinny fit runs let's say like super skinny or like yeah. any other denim. Like Levi's or something. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you want like a pair and it's like your first time going to like a Zara, try to go to your local one and just try on like any pair. And what I like about this is it's got that vintage looking wash. It's not that traditional uh, stone wash, I guess you could say. It's yeah. like the light wash and it's really comfy, right? It's got that stretchy material. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty stretch. And um, also, 
Zara pants could be pretty pricey. They can go up to 80 bucks, but all of the pants that I've gotten, they've all been like under, you know, 40 bucks. So, you know, you just have to go online and just search, or you can just go to your local Zara too. Exactly. And keep an eye out for those, you know, holiday sales because and sign up for newsletters because they'll send you like promo codes or something. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. And yeah. Alright guys, so next up I have this Old Navy linen trouser. This is a size 6 petite as well, so they fit identical to the Harper pants I just showed you guys. And um, these are a little more cropped than the Harper pants and they're already stitched in with a little roll right here so you don't have to fold anything. And they these are really cropped so they really show off the socks and the low top sneakers that you wear with these. And what I like about them is that it's really thin, it's got that light linen material and it's a tan colorway so it's a perfect tonal spring look that you want or summer look and going back to what Aaron said how he said like the material is really loose and breezy you know that's what you really want to look for in spring and summer because you know obviously the weather's warm enough you don't want to wear no thick cotton like you know t-shirt yeah. you know with a mock neck that's like tied up on no, your neck because you're gonna be sweating Alright, so next up I have these H&M tool pants. So as you see, we have the black colorway. And H&M and H came up with like four or five, right? Because I know they had an olive, they had a sweatpant, they had a khaki, and then it had like a... They had the denim one too. Yeah, the, the stone wash yeah. one that's like distressed. So as you can see, you know, H&M is getting some sort of inspiration you know, from Fear of God. You know? <laughs> the broke boy Fear of God pants right here, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, on to the sizing. So as you can see, it has it's a drop crotch and also it's very tapered. And um, so I got a size 28 since I'm a pretty skinny person, but I know Aaron, you got what, 30, I got a right? size 30 and it fits me perfect too, yeah, so, so. I would go with true to size. True to size on these ones, for sure. They're not fitted like those I Love Uglies or any other type of denim. They're like tool pants, so they're stretchy and- Yeah, they actually stretch. Like at the bottom here, like you can see like, it may look kind of stretchy, but when you stretch it a little bit, you know, they expand. Yep. So yeah. So next up, I have these Represent Distressed Denim. These are a size 30, they fit me true to size, and you know, all Represent Denim fits me true to size, so go true to size. And what I like about this is I got the stone wash, and the distressing paneling is not too, you know, busy, I guess you can say. It's simple, it's not too heavy. But then on the right side, I decided to, you know, cut up a bigger knee patch, just to give a little more exposure. And I got this when they had the represent sale. So I bought the stone wash and I also bought a pair of sand wash denim. Both distressing is the same. And like I said, the fitting on this is perfect. It's slim fit on the thigh and tapered on the legs. And yeah. Yeah, so back on what Aaron said about the sale. You know, you guys should really hop on it because you know, these pants are like what, like 150? And I would already pay, you know, that price for that because your quality is on point. But the fact that you can get it for like even like $80, you know, exactly. is even more of a steal. And next up here is H&M black skinny jeans. These are a size 30 and um, I decided to crop these. And if you guys want to see how this looks on, you know, different outfits, I did a alternative canvas, so just check that out. But um, what I decided to do is I rolled it up, measured it on my ankle and decided to cut it off and just, you know, put in the wash, put in the dryer and that's how you get that frayed hem. All right, now I'll start off with the shoes. I have a pair of Vans Old Schools. As you see, I got this the normal black pair. And I got this in a size eight, and you know, obviously I'm fitting. People say go two to size, but I'm usually like an eight or seven and a half. 
and I have a loaded room, which is how I like my shoes. So, um, if you want like a snug fit, just go seven and a half. Or half size down, right? Yeah, half yeah. size down, yeah, sorry about that. And these are really versatile. I mean, I've seen them wear these with what, like, you know, crop trousers, regular denim. Shorts. Shorts. Yo, these are the best spring summer shoes by far, right? Not even spring summer, all year round. True, all year round. Yeah. I mean, dress it up, dress it down, beat these up. You don't even have to worry about cleaning them because they just add character, right? When you, yeah, yeah. The more you wear them, the more character it has. Really versatile, and they're super cheap. They're like $55. Like 60, yeah. Plus tax. Depending, 60. Where, depending where you get it. Yeah. yeah, so to be honest, like if you guys don't have one, recommend you guys getting these monochromatic sneakers. Really easy to wear, and yeah. So next up for my shoes that I picked up, I got these Adidas Y3 ZG Knits. These are a size nine and a half. So these do fit really big. They fit like a half size big. So I recommend you guys going a half size to even a full size down, depending on how you like your sneakers to fit. These I'll have the prime knit upper, so they do stretch a little bit. And the reason why I got a nine and a half was because I got these off ground from a user and he wore these like a couple times. So they were like a nine out of 10 condition. So I got these a little under retail, but overall these are super versatile. They're the monochromatic sneakers. So they're like, just like the old schools, you can wear these with almost anything, shorts, yeah. pants, doesn't matter. And they go really good year round too. Um, but for this specific season, the spring, summer, I would wear these with cropped trousers or denim and- Shorts. Yeah, yes, a bunch shorts. of shorts, yeah. cause you can't go wrong. And they're super comfortable by far. One of my favorite com or comfiest shoes of all time, besides Ultra Boots, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But like, these don't have any insoles, so I recommend you guys putting an insole if you guys buy like you know a half size big like what I did. Yeah. Just put an extra insole in there, and it'll take up some space and add more cushioning as well. So yeah. Alright, and for the last item, we actually have a pair of Adidas X Traplord shoes. Alright, so I got these in a size 7.5, but the size I got from was a UK site, so I got in a UK 7. And you know, honestly, it is isn't skimming out on any quality on this. And you got that pig skin, you know, there's satin on the inside, really nice leather. You know, you got this like gold aglets, and it comes with another pair of laces, which also has the aglets, and it has like this like gold metal plate. And yeah, you know, it's. Pretty, pretty nice shoe, huh? So versatile. I like how it's got that tannish like upper. All white, right? Yeah, like so, you know, really light colors. You know, light colors mean spring, summer, and that's what he was trying to go for, yeah. you know? I mean, you can wear black and white, but, you know, you gotta switch things up a little bit, and this is, like, the perfect shoe for that. I like how it's got, you know, these detailing. It's got the lyrics of the songs on the shoelaces, and it says, always sharp and prosper on the three stripes with Adidas. And um, as you can, as you know, like off white is really hot this year. Like if you look at the you know the off white ultra boots, you know just like a lot of designer shoes, they have a lot of off white detailing. So year. you know, you can't go wrong with this color. And if you guys really are looking into these shoes, we'll leave a link in the description below. And yeah. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys like the new format of this video. Yeah, as you can see, like, you know, we're just trying something out new, you know, if you guys don't like, you know, just let us know in the comments, you know, we're just trying to see, you know, how, like, try to get a feel for, you know, what you guys want to see. We're just trying a lot of different yeah. styles, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to harm us. It's just, we just want to see what results we get and how far we can go with this yeah. whole collective haul process. So, yeah, don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. So until next time, peace, peace. guys.